And we are now hearing from the former campaign staffer who accused Democratic candidate for U.S. Senate Michael Franken of assault. The police report was filed by Kimberly Strope Bogus. She told officers Franken grabbed her and kissed her on the mouth without consent in March. Des Moines police say they found no information to support the claim and closed the case as unfounded. But in the police report, Strope Bogus told investigators that when she was fired from the Franken campaign at the end of February, she was asked to sign a separation agreement saying she would not make any disparaging remarks about Franken or his campaign. In a piece written by Politico, Strope Bogus released a statement saying, Anyone who knows me knows that I am honest to a fault. Michael Franken kissed me without my consent. It happened. And now again, without my consent, I am being mentioned by both sides as though I'm a disposable pawn in the political machine. She goes on to say, I hope we can all take a step back and look at how we treat women who come forward and how we react to their stories. What happened to me and what is happening now is not my fault. It's his. That's has always been and will remain the truth." End quote. Last month, Franken's campaign manager told KCCI the allegations are false.